A few candidates have asked uh, some details about the new citizenship bill for the purpose of SBI, PO, GD and also interview. So let me present this to you. On January 8, 2019, India's Lower House of Parliament approved a bill that would grant residency and citizenship rights to undocumented non-Muslim immigrants sparking protests in the country's northeast. The protests took place mainly in the state of Assam where millions of people were accused of being foreigners and effectively stripped of their citizenship last year. The controversial Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, which still needs the approval of Upper House of Parliament, seeks to amend the 1955 Citizenship Act to make Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists, Jains, Parsis and Christians from three Muslim majority countries, Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, eligible for Indian citizenship. This would mean immigrants belonging to these religious communities who entered India without the necessary documents prior to 2014 would not be imprisoned or deported and would gain permanent citizenship after six years of residency in India. The government says the bill aims to provide succor to persons who have been persecuted in their homelands because of their religious identities and who have nowhere else to go but India. The proposal assumes persons who identify as Muslim cannot be persecuted in Muslim dominated countries and therefore excludes all Muslim immigrants. Hence, members of the Ahmadiyya and Shia communities of Pakistan, despite being persistently targeted by extremists, would not be able to seek refuge in India. Before the citizenship bill was put to vote in the lower house of parliament, Sarma, who is also the finance minister of the state of Assam, said, if this bill is not passed, then Hindus in Assam will become a minority in just next five years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had also previously admitted that the bill is tied to his party's desire to make India a Hindu nation that prioritizes the rights of Hindus irrespective of their citizenship. During Bangladesh bloody struggle in for liberation from Pakistan in the early 1970s, many Bengalis moved to Assam. Over the years, their increasing numbers stirred anxieties among the indigenous Assamese people about the preservation of their distinct culture and ownership of land. As a result, between 1979 and 1985, an anti-foreigner agitation dubbed the Assam movement targeting the Bengali immigrants erupted in the state. To end the violence, India's central government signed the Assam Accord with the leaders of the Assam movement in 1985. The Accord specified that only people who could prove that either they or their parents had entered or lived in India prior to March 1971 can assume Indian citizenship and legally reside in the state of Assam. Last year, a new National Register of Citizens within bracket NRC was prepared in the state to distinguish Indian citizens from undocumented immigrants according to the rules set by the 1985 Accord. This list included only 28.9 million of the 32.9 million people residing in the state rendering nearly 
4 million people stateless. The decision to denationalize millions of people was widely supported by Assam's indigenous population, which still fears their culture may be decimated by the influx of foreigners and widely criticized by India's Bengali communities and international observers. Using this citizenship bill, the government is trying to make sure no Hindus are armed by the NRC. Dosto, e to, uh, for um, say, dusra country ka magazine se diya hua hai a point, but iska matlab ye hai, a bill pass hone ka vagay se, uh, jo Pakistan or Bangladesh or Afghanistan se jo aya, um, jo other than Muslims, ये सबको सिटीजनशिप देने का ये बिल पास हो गया ये तो बिल अभी तक अपर हाउस में पास नहीं हुआ ये इस इस पैसेज में क्या दिया है आपको असम में जो प्रॉब्लम हुआ रिगार्डिंग एनआरसी ये भी दिया हुआ है इसको एक बार का दो बार आप सुन लीजिए बाद में अपने का एक छोटा से पैराग्राफ बना के उसको प्रॉपर्ली प्रेजेंट करने से आपको इंटरव्यू और जीडी में अच्छा हो जाएगा थैंक यू